So I've been reading a lot in the Psalms right now, and I love the book of Psalms just because it really teaches us how we can talk to God. And I think there's so many things that we think like, oh, I could never talk to God about that. I can't talk to God about my fear or anxiety or depression or anything like that. And yet you read the book of Psalms and it's just, um, just colored with all the realm of human emotions from utter despair to like complete joy. And as I've been reading the Psalms, uh, this, this image keeps coming back. Um, it keeps repeating and it's talking about God as being a shield around us. Uh, one chapter even says that God's like a shield of love around us, which I really love. Um, and I love it because it implies that there's a battle, right? Like we don't need a shield unless we're in battle. And I think right now our world is in battle. Um, we're just battling for our joy, especially, is probably the biggest thing. Um, there's just so much um, despair going around. There's, you know, lost jobs. There's uh, weddings that have to be rescheduled. There's just graduations that we can't attend. And, um, I think it's okay to grieve. I think there's so much grief that's going on that's just trying to be pushed down, like maybe I'm not supposed to be grieving this. Um, but I love that the Psalms teaches us that we can grieve and that God is still that shield of protection around us. And um, this Psalm that I'm gonna be singing uh, right now, it's it's from Psalm 3. And this, this chorus that repeats is, You, O Lord, are a shield around me. You're my glory and the lifter of my head. And I also love that image of just the lifter of my head, just that like as if God is just our parent and our head is down and he's just taking his finger and he's just lifting our eyes back to him. And so I hope that you're blessed as you listen to this. Um, it's originally by Phil Wickham, so I didn't write it. I wish I did. Um, but it's straight out of the book of Psalm 3. And so I encourage you to listen and uh, maybe even memorize it and quote it back to yourself this week as you're um, battling for your joy. I'm not 